If you want to receive notifications on every commit in your GitHub repository, you can use Wire and you can connect it with Wire's GitHub Action. Using Wire's GitHub Action, you can get a ping on activity in your GitHub repository and this way you will be always up to date. But first we need to set it up. So simply click on the Actions tab in your GitHub repo and there you will have a guide that helps you creating a workflow. Every workflow starts with a simple file. In this demo, we will name it CI to match the name of our workflow. And I will also guide you through the concept of workflows. Every workflow has jobs and those jobs can have steps. So we have the concept of workflow, jobs and steps. Let's commit it to have a basic setup. And then we will check how this reflects on GitHub. First of all, we have the .github and then the workflows directory. And if we commit new configurations in there, then those workflows will be automatically triggered. Here we have the first execution and we can see that there is the build job and this build job has then several steps that just got executed. Let's customize our workflow to meet our requirements. We can do it by just simply clicking on the pencil icon and in here we can now edit the workflow and I suggest that we remove all the comments so the one here on top can go. And I will also remove the other two lines of comments here. And of course, the one above the job. By the way, the job named build can be renamed. So I will name it reporting to match our intention. And then I will also just remove the last comments here. And the first thing that we see now here in the step is that it uses the checkout action. But here is the wire messenger and we can use this action instead of the checkout action. We actually don't need to check out the repository because all we want to do is sending a report and for this the wire messenger action is just about right. And here we can now add some parameters. We can give some parameters with the whisk keyword and let's have a look back at the GitHub action here from wire. We see that it requires some parameters like the email, so I will just copy it over. I also like this hint here from GitHub. It's really helpful. And we see that here I used the in secrets keyword and these are coming from the settings. So in the settings of your GitHub repository, you can set up some environment parameters like via email or via password, and those can be used then in your GitHub action. I've done that already in preparation, so we can now go back here and use them directly for the email key. Next one is the password key. For the password key, we will also use a value from the secrets. So here we use wire underscore password. Of course, we need to decide which text we want to send, and I will go with a very classic one, and I put it in quotes to not mess up anything with spaces or special characters. So we will just send hello world. Then for the sake of consistency, an NP line of code here and a commit to the main branch. We now have set up an email and a password. We also do have a text, but there's one thing that is missing, which is the conversation ID. Here we see that we can also pass it through an environment variable but we can also write it in plain text. How to get this conversation ID? It's actually quite easy. If we click on any conversation in wire, we will see in the address bar a UUID, and this one we can use. I will just copy it over, and then we are fine. So let's go back to our workflow and pass another parameter here, conversation, and I will paste the ID again in quotes just to be safe, another commit on the main branch, and then we are good to go. So let's have a look at our workflows. Here we see all the commits that we have done so far. And I screwed up the second commit because I wasn't passing any conversation ID, but the third one should be okay. So if we go here in the reporting job, then we can see that it sets up the job and it runs our GitHub action 
the wire messenger action. If we open it, we can see the details and we see that a bot is running there on the production environment and it also sends the message, hello world. Let's have a look. If we go back to wire, we can see that the demo account actually sent the message, hello world. That's cool. We haven't even touched our IDE. Everything done just from the web interface in GitHub. We can also improve our script. So, so far we've been just sending hello world to wire, but if we go back to our workflow, we can make use of some environment variables coming from GitHub. So GitHub, for example, provides a very specific event, which we can access through github.event. And then we can use the head commit, that's the event name here, and we will use the message of the head commit. If we do this, then we will not just get hello world, but we will get the original commit message. That's why I will write something specific here, like use commit message. And if I commit this to the main branch, I can see the update of the action again in the actions tab. There we have our use commit message. And if we click on this commit, we can then see the progress. Of course, it takes a bit, but just a few seconds. So setting up the job is already in progress. Now runs the wire messenger GitHub action. Here we see that it sent a message. Let's verify it. And boom, use commit message coming directly from our GitHub commit. By the way, if you don't like this auto-generated step name, you can also go and change it. So in the .github workflows directory, in our workflow file, we can go to the specific step and then give it a name property. And for the name, we can put anything we like. For example, send message to wire. 